welcome to another episode of Bergen Stages, the entertainment magazine here at Bergen Community College, where we normally focus on ourselves and uh, things that we're doing here on campus. But in recent episodes, we've been taking that spotlight and shining it on our community, and today is no different. Today, I happily have a couple of uh, people that have put together this wonderful new company right here in our own backyard, New Vision Players. So welcome, Mike Haber and Amanda Villafuerte. Hi. Hi, thank you. Great to have you guys on the show. Thank Great you. Yes. So you have created this wonderful new little company right there in Fairlawn, New Jersey. Yeah. And I say little, but you have been doing some amazing shows <laughs> yes. there, some yes. large things, which is yeah. incredible. Good for you. Thank you. But I want to talk about the, uh, the company in just a minute. I want to get to know a little bit more about you. Sure. So Amanda, give yeah. us your background. Where are you from? Why are you doing this? Sure. Well, I actually am from Rockland County, New York. Okay. I've lived there my entire life. Um, I went to college at the University of Delaware, so I graduated from there in 2009. And, uh, you know, I've just kind of been working in North Jersey ever since. And you were a theater major in school? Or no, I actually broadcast? was a mass communications major there. Uh -huh. So I originally wanted to go into television. And I worked in television for a year in the city doing some documentaries for MTV. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I kind of took myself away from that environment and came back home to work. I like suburban New Jersey, I mm -hmm. really do. Um, so I started working at an early childhood education center and at the same time started this company with Mike. Uh, I have loved theater since I was 10. Mm -hmm. I started when I was 10 years old. I've been on stage since you know sixth, seventh, eighth grade, did stage crew all through high school and then just was heavily involved in theater all throughout college and just wanted, you know, Mike proposed this idea of Kind of doing this together. Yeah. So, Mike, give yep. us, I know uh, we chatted before their cameras started rolling that you were born in Hackensack Hospital. Yes, I was. <laughs> so, let's go a little bit further. Uh, I live how in uh, Paramus, New uh -huh. Jersey now. Okay. Um, I also graduated from the University of Delaware with Amanda. In broadcasting as well? No, um, I was actually a history and theater production. Get out. Okay, great. Good. Yeah. I know they have a good program there, too. Yeah. I know their theater program is great. I've seen yes. a lot of uh, uh, actors come out uh, to. Um, uh, NETC uh, auditioning there, so yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah. So That's you performed there. I, I performed. I was on stage, but mostly off. I, I did a lot of directing and lighting design. Uh huh. So, and how did you two meet? Well, there's uh, a story here. I yes. know it's oh, got to be a story. Is, oh, there's a story. <laughs> it is such a great story. Uh, we actually, I was doing a production of Bear, and we were struggling. We mm -hmm. were not doing so well, um, and we just, you know, my director pulled Mike Haber in. He knew Mike. I did not. He pulled him in and he was like, we have someone to help us out. So that's how we met. There was so much drama and <laughs> so much craziness during that production. But in the end, it was all just about friendship. And, and you know, so Mike and I became really good friends. Mm -hmm. And then ever since then, we just have been in each other's lives um, throughout the rest of college and graduation. And, uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, well, that's neat. That's yeah. a great story. So you, you came in to to rescue the show technically, or did you come to as an actor at that point? No, you? technically. Uh -huh. um, I, I had just recently directed a show, so Amanda brought me in as, I guess, a second assistant director. Um, it was I, really in trouble it, then. It, it, oh it was my really, goodness. it was in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, um, and we were just, all of a sudden, our, we just were having a lot of trouble with the musical direction, and he was like, well, I guess I can musically direct. I was like, okay, if you know how to, because I didn't know him. Bam, musical director saved the show two days before we opened. Wow. Two days before we opened, I stepped in to start conducting a, a show with 47 numbers. Yes, it's a huge it's show. A, it's a, lot a of pop singing. opera, yeah, so there's totally is. barely any dialogue. Mm -hmm. but, um, and he just musically directed it out of nowhere, and we sa literally saved the show. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you have a whole music background then? Yeah, yeah. I do uh, have a music background. Playing? Um, uh, I played uh, trumpet French horn in high school. Uh huh. Um, and I was actually the drum major of the Paramus High School marching band, so which, which is I conducted the marching band. Totally. School. You know how to conduct a music Yeah, player. yeah, yeah. Nice. And so that was nice. helpful. Good, good. And so then you uh, went to school, you finished, you did your, your years at, at, at the uh -huh. college, and then you sure. met back here, or did you plan to do this? Was your vision of New Vision back <laughs> then, or? No, no, uh, it's funny because we, we found out that we lived very close to each other. We didn't know that, and so it's like, oh, that's great, when we go back home, we can hang out. Um, you know, in 2011, I was still working with TV, and, and Mike actually was like, hey, if, if you want to ever help, you know, I, we, I have this company. It originally started without me. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was like, yeah, I have this company if you want to do lights. So I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> so I helped with lights for rent. Mm -hmm. We did rent in 2011 in the summer. You guys 
are blowing me away because you know so many things, which is incredible. So you know lighting as well. Yeah, well, I, he, he does all lighting design. This kid <laughs> does all lighting design. I just push the button. Why do you know this? <laughs> um, it's a student-run theater company in Delaware. So um, we really had to teach ourselves. Doesn't happen if you don't it, do it. It doesn't all. happen if you don't do it. So my freshman year, I came in, and um, my first show was actually Into the Woods, and um, the, there was a lighting designer there, and he pretty much showed me the ropes of how to operate a board, how to refocus lights, and then um, what, he graduated that year. Mm -hmm. So after that, I was kind of the go-to lighting designer for the next three and a half years. You were the college. apprentice for one year. The apprentice for one year, <laughs> and then years. the go-to uh -huh. for the next three. But um, I learned a lot from being forced to kind of learn myself. But it's a great way to do it, though, it, isn't it? It's, it's, it's a great it really way to do it. Just, it. Yeah, <laughs> it totally, to totally sets it all up, and, yeah. And, yeah. You, and you run everything, and you and you make sure. Yeah, I think that's uh, great education, yes. where as opposed to having all these people so specialized in just what they do, right. Right. you become a, a general practitioner of theater, which is, is kind of neat, because I think it's probably helping where you are today with it's, new visions, yeah. which you, yeah. you know, what you're looking at. Do you do set design, too? Um, uh, more so design than construction, but uh -huh. yeah, I've, des mm -hmm. I've designed a couple of sets before. Great. So it sounds like you're balancing each other. What, you yeah, I do all the, I'm usually the production manager or the stage manager. Mm -hmm. and I was a stage manager back in Delaware, and I was the only one with another girl. Mm -hmm. For some reason, we're like the go-to stage managers. <laughs> so we were, that's usually my role, and I'm also the business manager for the company. So I hand handle all the finances. I try and work with the house display, so I do all of like the headshots and the house display, do all the tickets and stuff. So we, <laughs> we literally balance each other out where, mm -hmm. He's strictly directing and more of like the artistic vision, and I'm just like all the technical stuff, which is great. Great for our audiences, because I know they've watched many of our shows, but they might not know some of the things you're talking about. What exactly, we kind of know what a director does. We've had many directors pop in and, and, and tell us their, their vision of a show. Right, right. Um, but we don't really know what a stage manager does. Yeah, Can you kind sure, of absolutely. Well, to me, the stage manager kind of really manages the, all of the cast, making sure that everything backstage is working, mm -hmm. making sure that that vision of Mike's is coming true. Uh, no matter what I have to do through communication, making sure that the lights, you know, the lights are working well, and if not, I have to figure out a way to fix it. Making sure all the actors get on stage when they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Making sure all the actors come on time for rehearsal. You know, just kind of making sure that the workings of the rehearsal process and the the production are smooth, great, efficient. So, so once it opens, it's your baby. Yep. So, Mike, what do you do come opening night? Are you well, <laughs> running the light board? Are you no, in the show? Are you well, <laughs> selling tickets out? For I, ideally, what I would like to eventually be doing when I, when I guess we have enough employees and enough people to help us out mm -hmm. in all facets is to sit in the back row and, and enjoy and mm -hmm. watch. Uh -huh. I mean, when, when we did shows in Delaware, that's, we had enough of a student population that the director, could sit that the director can just sit and enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, I have recently been running the light board uh -huh. uh, during for our productions just because we we don't have anyone else to do it <laughs> well you are so new at what you do yeah, yeah. Uh, which i think you're, you're you're getting the the word of mouth is finding out that you're there i know that several of our students have gotten involved with you so 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 let's begin to talk about new vision we're, okay. we're uh, the title just the, the name of the company seems obvious but <laughs> right. why did you come up with new vision Boy. i think we were just kind of one day in february sitting in my in my dining room and just thinking <laughs> about it um like what what do we want to call this company um, and like, what, what do we have in mind? What do we want this theater company to be? So we have a certain vision, I think, for it, um, you know, to give back to the community, to make sure that everyone who enjoys theater in Northern New Jersey can enjoy theater again. I know that it's, it's hard to sometimes go into Manhattan and see a Broadway production, sure, sure. you know, it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. So why not bring entertainment back into New Jersey mm -hmm. um, and, and just let it be for everyone who's, who's really excited about it. Mm -hmm. And we were like, well, that's it's kind of like a vision of ours. It's, Kind of like a new, a new, a new vision. <laughs> I like it. I Boom! Like it. <laughs> so that's the point. I can see the graphics. Perfect. I can see everything they're going with. Yeah. true. So there is your new vision. So what, Mike, what do you think your, the vision of the company is right now? Uh, I hear it give good back to the community, but in a larger scale, what does that mean? I well, I, I also th feel like our mantra is more of like we provide high quality theater, but at a very, I don't want to say casual, but at a very um, low-key style of rehearsals. Mm -hmm. um, because of our age and because of our experience, we, we tend to work with people our own age and our peers. Mm -hmm. And so it makes, it makes it a little bit less of a professional 
uh, atmosphere mm -hmm. and more of a like casual, fun atmosphere, welcoming for for all new people. Right. You have the goal that you're going to reach, but there's no stress and there's not that pressure. Exactly. That, that, you know, that, exactly. We've so got money writing on this thing. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's so that's a, kind of the appeal of us, mm -hmm. in in my opinion, is because we. We are so low key and casual and, and fun, easy going to work with, mm -hmm. but we still put forth like a professional style production. Well, so. I have seen what you've done, and you're, you're absolutely right. Oh, it is thank quite you. professional. <laughs> uh, thank you. And, and I felt thrilled that we were able to support you with at least some actors uh, oh, yeah. uh, that yeah. come through our program. So, so that's been great. So, so here's New Vision. Tell, I guess my, my question is. You're, you're so young at this. Um, this is your second season now. You're yes. yeah. in your yeah. second season. Mm -hmm. So, so what did you find most challenging mounting your own theater company here in northern New Jersey? Um, I think uh, a lot of it was just financially. You know, it's what this is like a, a pretty hard environment. You know, just with um, what am I trying to say? The, the economy, the mm -hmm, economy. Mm -hmm. uh, what what can we do to make sure that this happens, and, and how are we going to proceed, and how can we do this the best way? Um, you know, I think that's always a struggle. I think one of the biggest things is that we have a lot of support from our parents, our families, our friends. Who normally, if we have to pay someone hundreds of dollars to make a graphic for us, we can go to someone that we know, one of our friends who's amazing, and be like, you know what, I'm going to help you guys out. So I think that that's that's one of the struggles that we've had that we're able to overcome. So the community is right now giving back to you yes. or giving to you so yes. that you we're can eventually do what back. you want to do. Yeah, right and I think that um, you know we owe so much to our actors. Um, our actors are the the ones that bring the, the tickets in, that fill those seats up, mm -hmm. and because of them, we're able to financially support the next show. We really just go show to show. Um, uh -huh. So I think that that's one of the biggest struggles. Yeah. But you've also, and this is kind of a key into uh, something that you brought with uh, to show today. You did a benefit. Yes. Um, yes. Can you talk about that a little bit, Mike? Yeah. Um, so we we have done a, a number of full length productions, but recently we decided that we would do more of a fundraiser benefit concert. Mm -hmm. um, we did a Disney cabaret just to to bring in extra money for the company and to give back to the younger population uh -huh. um, just an entertaining night of so it was review of, of songs or did you do skits and stuff like that or was uh, it, just it was only I'm sorry so I missed it, was, it so it was yeah just, it was yeah. only songs and these were people that have worked in your company or did you bring yes yeah. we, nice. we've only we only had people that were we consider them our all-star cast okay so people that uh, we've had good experiences with in the past uh -huh. them back so I think this is just a little clip of what you did about, uh, what would you say, about 30 seconds a minute? Or? Yeah, sure, yeah, 30 seconds a minute of, of a, one of the rehearsals that we had um, featuring, uh, it was Fortune Favors the Brave from Raida. Oh, cool. And um, it's, you know, it's just a, a little clip of basically what we do at rehearsal, how we're laid back, but just the kind of quality and talent that we bring. Okay, so so this is just a little clip of, of it was a rehearsal um, that they were getting, so like you said, it's kind of laid back, there's not a lot of pressure. So this is a rehearsal, uh, getting ready for the benefit that they uh, had done to raise raise a little bit of money. You must have had a lot of fun putting that together, oh, getting these people uh, to, to It's such it. a good time. Did and, you, you know, direct the, the? I directed that one. Uh -huh. And you know, it's just, w there's something about classic Disney songs that really just brings a community together. Who can't love it? <laughs> Who can't? <laughs> Who can't <laughs> love it? And actors love to sing them. You, Absolutely. You, you, a lot of times you don't get to sing them at auditions. You don't get a chance to sing these things. So it's what true. a perfect, yes. perfect opportunity to yes. do it. Um, so great. guys, we're going to have to take a little short break. Okay, uh, sure. And when we come back, I'm going to get to a little bit more nitty gritty about where uh, New Vision Players is going at this point. Great. Okay. Uh, but but uh, hang in there. We'll be right sure. back. So, so thanks for tuning in. We'll be right back uh, and talk a little bit more about New Vision players. From intimate black box performances in the Ender Hall Lab Theater to full-scale musical productions in the Anna Maria Saccon Theater, come to Bergen Community College at 400 Paramus Road in Paramus, New Jersey. For tickets or more information, call the box office at 201-447-7428 or visit us at tickets.bergen.edu. We'll be seeing you on Bergen Stages.
So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's a line of desks more than four miles long. Keep students in school. Visit BoostUp.org and take the first step. How you doing? My name's Steve. My family's lived in this neighborhood for years. Recently, things got so tight, we had to go to our local food bank for help. I lost a lot of sleep worrying about what the neighbors might think. That is until I saw them there, too. How'd I do, Steve? A little stiff. If you could have done a little what? better. What? Come on! You know, I have an Academy Award. Yeah, but not for playing me. Play a role in ending hunger. Visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger and find your local food bank. Welcome back to Bergen Stages. I'm Jim Bumgarner, your host. Today we have two wonderful guests from New Vision Players right here in our own backyard in Fairlawn, New Jersey. We have Mike Haber and Amanda Villafuerte. Yes, uh, uh, Thanks again, you guys, for coming. We've Thank learned you. so much about the company. Um, and so we want to get to some nitty gritties of what's going on. I know you talked about right now, and it's a struggle becoming a new company, especially yeah. in this economic climate. Yeah. But you're doing the huge step now is looking for nonprofit status. Absolutely. What does that mean? What well, are you doing? Yeah, right now we're applying for nonprofit status. We're, we're working with uh, a com another like accounting type of company um, to try kind of achieve nonprofit status. We have to fill out applications, make sure that all the answers are pretty pretty decent so that they will give us nonprofit status. Um, so we're kind of waiting on that. It does take a while. I know that it takes like a year or two just to kind of sure. uh, you know approve that. And you're doing it on your own or do you have an umbrella that's we, helping you? Or we, do you we kind of, we're working with LegalZoom. Oh, I don't know cool, if I'm cool. uh -huh. But yeah, we're working with LegalZoom, and so they're the ones that are just sending out the application to us, and I'm filling it all out and stuff, and then I send it back to them, and we would just work together mm -hmm. um, in hopes to achieve that. And that's that's like our biggest goal right now is to just to get and that. And then with that, then you're able to get people to contribute, companies to contribute, yeah. and then you get into the whole uh, tax fund deductible rate, fund and rate and uh, yes. uh, uh, grant applications yes. and those kind of things. So Absolutely. that really helps you out, I know, a lot, because as you said uh, before the break, you, you count on the, the talent to come in yeah. to work on the show to help sell tickets. And they do, right. their families are grand, you know, everybody comes in to, to, right. to watch the Correct. shows. It's so. pretty amazing though, like the talent that is brought in, sometimes they just have like other parts, like other aspects of themselves that are like, never knew that about you, glad you're part of the company. You know, like we had an actress come in who was originally an actress, and all of a sudden we found out she's great at props. Now she's our resident props person, you know? So it's like, it's really great to kind of reach out to these different people. And you probably cultivate these talent. You see them in them and you say, we need this, and, and, and so they can get involved. If they can't be in that musical, you only do musicals, right? Right yeah, now, right, right now, now we're only doing musicals. Right now we do. Are you, you, so you're thinking doing both, but right now you're, yep. you're doing the really expensive ones too. <laughs> well, yeah, we're doing ones that we feel would probably be the most lucrative oh, cool. for us. Oh, cool, cool. Well. And it's bringing in probably more your age group wanting to audition for the shows mm -hmm. you've done. Yeah. Correct. Um, let me just talk to the past. I know, did you start with Rent, or was just that the first one I saw? We, we, we started with Rent. That was actually with um, the company that I started before Amanda joined. Great. Okay, gotcha. Um, and then Amanda's first show was uh, Next to Normal. Yes. Next to Normal. So we had Rent, and then we did You're in Town. We did You're in Town. Right. Together, right. finally. Right. And, right. Then, um, and then Next to Normal. It was just like, you know, it us was two. It was New Vision's first production. Yes. Yeah. Which I love, Next to Normal. I, Good. I felt fortunate seeing it at second stage uh, when it originated. Yeah. So it was just, I felt, you know, like I'm on the verge of something new and wonderful and different. Right. The right. Rent of 20. Uh, I felt that way too. I just really think it absolutely. is, and, and and I'm so glad that it moved. Right. And I'm so glad that you guys did it. Yeah. So while we're on that topic, we've got a little clip that you brought. We do. Can yes. you get us into this clip? Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this clip is basically sort in the in the first act. It has, you know, there's only six people in the show. Right. So it just kind of focuses on on three three of them, uh, the father, the son, who you know, I'm not going to give the spoiler alert, Go, but right. son, right. Right. and then the mother, <laughs> uh -huh. um, and it's. Um, Name is here to right now, but it's yeah. It's this. So this is them singing. So we're yeah, just going to do much. a quick, a quick cutaway to uh, uh, this is actual production time now. Yes. So we saw a rehearsal before. So this is a production of uh, of Next to Normal that we had uh, last season. Uh, yeah, last spring. Last spring. Mm -hmm. uh, this time last year uh, <laughs> uh, 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 at at New Vision Players. Yeah.
So what song was that? It was I Am The One uh -huh. in, the, in the first act. It's one of, one of my favorites. It's, it's, it's incredible and power, powerful. So it, powerful. The whole show the is whole show. so powerful yes. and leaves you just in awe right. of this, this set in the suburbs. They're yeah. saying that musicals aren't normally set in the suburbs, and suddenly yeah. you've got this real suburban show. Yeah. Um, just dealing with uh, our neuroses of yeah. living out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So, so this is, and, and there again, an ambitious show. I mean, it's, it's yes. a small cast, but it is tough music. It, it is difficult. Tough music. music. And Gosh. staging. What do you do with six people? Well, uh, this this is actually a unique style staging, as mm -hmm. you could probably see from the clip. Um, it, we did a three-quarters round mm -hmm. for that show. So we had uh, audiences on three sides of us. So I had to work with um, actors on kind of a different approach, using diagonals a bit more, um, getting used to a three-dimensional style mm -hmm. instead of kind of like that fourth wall and breaking that down. So that was something that took a lot of practice and just getting in the habit of. It's so fun. Once yeah. you get in the habit, it's such a fun thing to do. It's true. Shows. And then you'll have to worry about that proscenium staging. And you know, you It was a very refreshing I can break turn for this me. way yes. and it's okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, really it was is. very refreshing. <laughs> Are you thinking about doing that again or was this just unique for this show? Um, well, as long as we're remaining at Fairlawn, I'm not sure if that's going to be possible in the short term. But Great. Speaking of, where are you located? I guess we haven't even gotten oh, that yes, far yet. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> where, where can we, we find you? We do perform at Fairlawn Community Center mm -hmm. in Fairlawn, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, they've, they've really become our resident, our home theater company. Nice. Um, so, and they're very accommodating, and we have, uh, they're co-sponsored co-sponsor us as a yes. company as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a very nice deal. Yeah. And it's a great space. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. It really wonderful is a, a nice audience, a comfortable yeah. you know, to it's see. Very, you know, it's it's very really intimate, too, very which, intimate. Is, which is Which useful. is misleading, because you walk in, you think it's not, and you suddenly right. are, and you just get so pulled yeah. into what's ever happening on stage. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So easily. It does, I see it's about 250, it looks like. One, uh, 170. Yeah. 170, is yeah. that yeah. what it is? Yeah, yeah, so that's really intimate, and that's a nice, yes. nice yeah. size to have. It's good, it's good. Good, good. But I know you hinted that maybe one day in the five, 10-year plan, you might have your own that that is our ultimate goal, ultimate goal is uh -huh. to invest in our own venue and that means you home. would be doing a lot more shows a lot more fundraising yeah yes. uh, season tickets uh, absolutely all. yeah but just you like, see going that direction yes that's what we want because we just we we do we travel all over right now um you know we rehearse in different cities in northern jersey um, and i think that just having that home space being able to create sets in our own place and not have to travel around and stuff it, would be great, and we would be very proud to have that. Oh my gosh, absolutely! Yeah. And, and it would be nice. It'd be nice that you let another little company that's struggling or, or beginning to use your space exactly. for a couple sure. of shows absolutely. and that kind of thing yeah, too. Rent which other is people. back to that giving back to the community that's might true. be a kind of nice way to see, um, you know, ten years from now, some yeah. twenty-five-year-olds coming out of Delaware. So yeah, <laughs> uh, that would be great. But you see yourself staying up in this area. Uh, yes. Nice. Yeah. And and. Community theaters, so many people know, because we've got so many wonderful ones around here, are the backbone of this country. I mean, it's very talented people that have decided they can't afford a life career doing it, but still have the talent, and it doesn't go to waste because it gets put in these community theaters. Yes. Right. And that's what you find around here? The yeah, that, and that's our location we, we really have come to find is ideal because we are 20 minutes from the city. So we actually have gotten some New York talent coming out and, and then all the local talent from New Jersey, but it, it's true in that it, it, we're not getting Broadway actors coming out, but we are getting... Yet. Yet. Yeah. Right, you guys, it's second season. But, you, guys, <laughs> you totally blow me away because you're so amazing how much you've done. So, so I think that's, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank no, you. no. But no. the talent that we do get locally is just in, inspiring. It's remarkable, it's, yes. yeah. It's incredible. So do you see yourself, I'm back in this 10-year plan now, yeah. um, uh, d what kind of shows are you thinking about doing? What do you, where do you think? Well, our, bi our big summer, uh, well, something that we definitely would want to do uh -huh. um, as one of our huge shows is Les Mis. Which is it's a show that Amanda and I have been dreaming of producing. Like my number one dream. Sweet. Yeah. To be involved in Les Mis, yeah. somehow. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. And you will get them, you'll be the only ones around here who have done other than that. Yeah, yeah, be, it's, you know, maybe it's hard. It's it, hard to do that show. It is. You know, New York. I feel is always trying to grab it, grab onto it. Right. And if they get it, then we can't get it. Right. Know, and I know they're talking about mounting another Broadway production. I believe in 2014. Out, so. Is that yeah. right? So yeah. quickly so get it in, so that, that the movie right, comes right. out, and then you know, it's like everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. Uh huh. But that's one of our biggest. And then some of the other shows you're thinking about. Well, I definitely one. Of my second um, is Bear. 
the, the show that brought us together. Uh -huh. um, we've always wanted to do it our way, our style, because you know we, we know the show so well. Uh -huh. and, and just I think it would be appropriate since that's the show that brought us together. And it's kind of it has a cult following. I feel like a lot of people from different states would just drive up to see it. Yeah. You know, because oh, it's it does so, have a cult following. Yeah. Everyone it loves it. Does. So it's that's one of our biggest dreams. It certainly know? does. Yeah, 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 yeah. And anything beyond that? Have you thought further than? So we got Les Mis, we got Bear. Right. I mean, some of my dream shows, I, I've always wanted to do Jekyll and Hyde. Wow. That, that's one of my. Guys are really picking dreams, this so. small <laughs> show. Uh, most little, most most uh, uh, new companies will pick you know uh, uh, <laughs> small shows that have no sets. And, right. You know, right. <laughs> and right. you guys are really ambitious, which is yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like that. Um, so, do you see yourself saying community theater? Do you think you would might become semi pro? Do you think you would become a regional theater? I well, I personally like community, saying community theater. I like the idea of being here for the community and mm -hmm. giving back to them and just having that laid back type of casual setting but it takes away your life because it does. you have real jobs right yes. just like all your actors or everybody have real jobs and then they come together nights and weekends so you give yeah. them, you, I can't even tell you how many how many hours do you think you put in of, oh, oh I okay. don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it's like our yeah, social even. aspect it's like work and then new vision it's that's, that that's it's what it is yeah. that. but but you get along and that's what's so yeah. wonderful about right, it right, is right. that you get along so who else yeah. would you spend the time with anyway right. so you might as well be together and let's that's put true. on a show exactly it's great it's absolutely um, and so do you have like young people involved do you have little ones or is it just tends to be well, I think it depends on the show yeah, yeah usually our age range is 16 and older mm -hmm. um, but if you know if we say we did lame is we need a little cosette and a, a little uh, certainly. you know yeah, so yeah. it just depends on the show so you guys uh, keep your ears open for <laughs> auditions for a little cosette and a little <laughs> <there>. <laughs> um, yeah. and uh, we've only got a couple of minutes left, so I just want to touch on so many things because you guys yeah. are so fascinating uh, what you're doing here, right here in Farallon. Um, so we also talked about, there was uh, uh, some some thought about... Um, like yeah. workshops? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we, I know in the future we're, we're going to want to do summer camps, workshops, uh, work with children to kind of, you know, get them excited about theater because we want to bring theater to them. It's such a great outlet, such a creative and artistic outlet that mm -hmm. if kids are interested in it, absolutely, we want to get them involved. Sweet. You've got reasonable ticket prices, yeah. if I remember Just right. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Cheap date. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's 20 bucks right here in town and being in, in so close to New York and to be able to see something so inexpensively uh, and such quality productions that you guys have. So I am so impressed. I cannot tell you, uh, Mike and Amanda, at the work you're doing. Um, you're so young, but you're so ambitious. And, you know, if there's anything we can do here at Bergen Community College to help you, please, um, our door is always open to you. Thank so, you. So thank you for being our guest thank today. Thank you so much. Yes. Uh, thanks for coming. And good luck with uh, Les Mis, Bear, and everything else you got coming. Thanks. And thank, thank you. you for tuning in to another episode of Bergen Stages. Come in again. Thanks. Bye-bye.